All right, break time is over. Let's get back to what the, we were doing, the matters at hand, which was more sub-story. Uh, do I want to go fight this guy? You know what? I did level up a little bit. Let's go fight this guy again. Am I, wait, am I healed? My healing could use a little work. How's my stomach looking? 107? Mm, there is a food place right over here. Let's hit up the food place real quick and get ourselves a steak real quick. Also, let's check out this house of bitches. I think I came in here before, actually. Or maybe not. Bitches love the Jesus plus beard. Jesus beard hair combo. I know, right? Boom, 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 boom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, I can go in here? Where does this go? Oh, it's just a fucking vending machine. Never mind. Can't go up there. I think I technically was already in this part of town a little bit. Okay, I want to eat a little bit of tenderloin. Maybe a little salad and soup on the side. Sounds good. Mostly just doing it for the healing. Have I been up here before? What the hell? I have not been over here. What the fuck? I didn't even know you could go up here. There better be a shiny up here, goddammit. Make this worth my while, game. There it is. Hell yeah. Mama always says stupid is as stupid does. I got that damn song stuck in my head now. Even though all I did was sing the lyrics, didn't even hear the real one. Can't think of a beard style that you'd like, FML. Oh, you want to come up in here and fight me then, son? I'm a little busy over here. No, I don't want to get hit by that. Superman. Superman he ain't saving shit. Oh, he kicked the fucking stool at me. Asshole. Asshole. Yeah, you don't really need to make a beard style, FML. Just grow it out so you have enough to trim. And then trim it nicely. That's all you gotta do, man. Your beard is your beard. But if you can do a goatee, you know, by all means. Because I don't know if you saw my face yesterday, FML, but I actually trimmed my beard down yesterday, or two days ago now. It was getting a little out of hand, so I trimmed this motherfucker down big time. All right, let's fuck this guy up again. Here we go. Not bad. How's the recovery? Not so great. It's tough getting the food you need when you're flat broke, you know? I'm never going to heal if I don't get some grub in my belly. A meaty yaki niku bento would be heaven right now. <sighs> motherfucker, you should have said you were going to need some goddamn food. You motherfucker. <laughs> Just remember that beards... Are ticklish on a girl's ass you know, when you're down in that region. Very true, Walker. Very true. Um, I guess I want to go to this store then. Yeah, let's go to Papo.
Looks like Popo has a sub story anyway, so it's a good place to stop by. Is it a person in here? Or no, it looks like it's one of the clerics. You have a bento, sir. I need a bento. The yaku, yakiniku bento, specifically. Thank you. Arigato, you're certainly in your job. I'm glad to hear you say that. Thought convenience store clerks were supposed to be a little more low-key, though. We are, sir, but our manager gave us specific instructions to ensure all customers are satisfied as possible. Sir! He'll steady check in on us and push the Odin, push the Odin skewer, sir. So I'm always on my toes and always full of Odin, sir! Hmm. Guess life behind the counter isn't easy. Hi. It's a labor of love, sir. Anyway, please come back soon for your, all your shopping needs, sir. All right, drop, I'll drop by later. It's another one of those ones where we just have to come back and shop again after some time has passed. But I got what I came for. The stupid box. So let's just head back and give the dude his dang bento. I could kind of go for a bento box right now. That sounds delicious. Out of my way, motherfuckers. The good thing about doing all these sub-stories now is I won't have to worry about them later. That's the good thing about this. Sup, champ? Got your Yakuniku bento, yes. One bento coming right up. Man, oh man, you're the greatest champ. Now can I kick your ass? Man, meat's the best, ain't it? I'm feeling loads better now that I got a stomach full of grilled protein. What do you say, champ? You up for a fight? Oh, and same rules as last time. No stabbing, tasing, shooting, or any of that. No blue fire moves. Too scary. You got it. Uh. Here we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's do. Bring it on, Oba. <laughs> I'm trying to dodge around him and he keeps changing his fucking kick. Motherfucker. Come on, you fuck. No leg drop for you, bitch. Leg sweep. Come on, man. You're almost done. Woo! The leg sweep for the win. Man, you mopped the floor with me. Should have known this happened after the beating you gave me last time. You're getting better though. Thanks, man. It means a lot coming from you. Oh yeah, and here's a little something. Tiger Crash Primer. Another move I can learn. Another one of my master books with all the nice pictures. This was basically my Bible. Give it a read when you got the time. Damn right. Uh. Will do, sir. Okay, so he wants to fight again. So Okay. First of all. Let me read that book. I apparently had two moves there that I didn't know. I guess I forgot I had another move. I'm guessing if I go down to the first floor, he'll reappear again. 
I'm also wondering if he needs food again or something to recharge him. Okay, he's not here. Maybe he'll show up later? I don't know. Maybe I am not ready. Oh, now he shows up. I had to leave and come back. Okay. Motherfucker. I had to go out the door first. Sorry. My bad. Yo, champ, how's it hanging? Hey there, you feeling any better, y'all? Hmm. Just got from the final push. If only I had some kind of fuel to reignite the smoldering embers of my fighting spirit. How about a stamina and double X? I think I have one of those, actually. Yeah, we could do that. Here you go. Oh, man, this is just what I was hoping for. Bottoms up, dog. This is a 10. I can feel my muscles practically bulging out of my body. One-eyed monster is back in business. Cyclops Oba is going to dominate the world of wrestling. You ready for our last sparring match, champ? Let's do this, baby. You know the rules by now, yeah? No weapons, no scary flame moose. That would probably kill a guy. Got you. Uh. All right, one more time with this fuckface. Here we go. Full power up, champ. Here we go. This guy's got a shit ton of health this time. I fully expect to have to use a healing item this time around, honestly, so it's fine. Oh, that fucking DDT move, bro. Okay. Time to heal. Oh, you can't heal in this fight? Oh, you can't heal in this fight. Well, if I'd have known that, I would have came in with full health then. Well, that's what I get for coming in here with no fucking full health. I didn't realize, like, I didn't realize. Yeah, yeah, I'll fuck you up next time, sir. I don't have full health right now, unfortunately. Oh, I do now. You know what? Let's try again. Uh. It gave me full health after losing. Why don't you just start me with full health then? What a dumb game. I can't heal. You might as well give me full health to start a sparring fight. Damn you and your roundhouse kick, you fuck. Whoa. God damn it, I pu pulled my block down. That was pretty close. I, I fucked up in the last, like, half of that. I had him, like, two-thirds of the way down, and I had half my health. All right. Let's try that again. 
I could get this. I just gotta stick and move more. Fucking... Really, he got me with that? Bullshit. Damn, I'm doing worse this time. No, he grabbed me, son of a bitch. I did worse that time. Did way worse. Okay. Ha! <laughs> <sighs> Come on. Uh. Mm -hmm. I can beat this fucker. Come on. Lock in and focus. Here we go. <laughs> Get up, boy. Dude, I can't even dodge anymore. Fucking really? I'm just getting frustrated. got annoyed so I started going for heavy blows over and over again. That was that's fine. Alright, one more try and then I'll give up on this one and I'll come back to it. That that attempt turned into a fucking shit show real fast. Here we go. Oh, 
What? Really? That's fucked up. Come on, man! Get the fuck out of my house, you piece of shit. Fucking got me with fucking grab moves too much, man. Dude. From behind, no! Oh, hell no. No! Fuck that! Fuck that! Oh, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. I can't believe he got me with that shit from behind like that. Oh my god. Fuck that. <sighs> I'm annoyed. I'm not gonna do that again right now. I'll beat him first try next time, watch how it always goes <sighs> all right how many more have i got i got the store one i got the soup one and i got one two three over here that I haven't even checked out yet there's two more down there that i haven't checked out there's one down there i haven't checked out yet oh there's so many, so many, so many. oh man there's so many hi friends Easy peasy, y'all. Sit down. And be humble. Okay. I'm tempted to actually go on with the story for a little while now. It's been a while. You know, we've been in, we've been back in Kamurocho for a couple hours, I think. And we haven't done any story stuff other than get a call from Daigo to know that we need to meet that dude at 1 a.m. tomorrow. And yet here I am, going to the store, to talk to this guy again. I really don't want to buy anything, if I'm going to be honest. Maybe I have to buy something? I didn't have to buy anything from the guy last time. I just had to like, go shopping and then leave. Okay. Maybe I do want to buy something. Uh, I'll buy, uh, I'll buy some toughness lights, why not? At least I know I can use those. But, like, how come... Okay. I guess I'll come back to that later. I don't know. It's not nothing was happening, so whatever. I'll come back to that later, I guess. Does it even say what I need to do? Be a regular. Okay. Maybe that just means I have to go there a few times. I don't know. Well, whatever. There's a sub story here. Oh my God! Is it a bathroom one? The bathroom ones are always funny. I hope it's a bathroom one. deep in trouble. Here we go again. Uh, please help me. What could a guy in a restroom stall possibly need help with? Please, I'm begging you. Huh. Hey, uh, you okay in there? Uh, you could say I'm kind of unwell. I don't think I can come out. Oh, is the door jammed? The door's jammed? I can bust it down for you. No, that's not it. 
That's just really hard to move. Sounds pretty serious. Hold on, I'll call you an ambulance. Wait, you don't need to do that. Don't be ridiculous. You need to get help before it's too late. Wait, um... Hello? Police? Yeah, I've got a sick man who needs help in the children's park. No, man! I shit myself, alright? Happy now? Looks like I just waded through a knee-high river of chunky chocolate pudding. That's disgusting. Wait, is that what the smell is? You heard me. It's code brown in here. Please just hang up, would you? Right. Hey, uh, I think he's all better. In a way, we won't need that ambulance after all. Please, you're my only hope. Can you help me? What the hell do you need? Some Lysol? Fine, what do you need? Fresh pair of underwear, please. One that isn't scarred like a corn-flecked war zone? Fine. Sit tight, I guess. I need to buy this dude a pair of underwear. I don't happen to have a pair of underwear, do I? No? Okay. Fresh undies, please. You got it, dude. So, over here used to be the pocket circuit thing, but I'm guessing it's not a thing anymore. Doesn't seem to exist over him, yeah. No shiny over here though? Not surprising. Well, it's whatever. Guess we'll go over here to the theater district and check out the other fucking ones over Oi. here. You there! Wait up a sec. Cool. What do you want? You one of them, right? I can tell. Actually, I got a job for you. It's pretty straightforward, so this should be a cinch. What do you need, sir? Well, this is certainly fishy. Should I see where this goes? Let's hear it. I can say I'm not interested. Uh. All right. Well, let's hear it. Actually, we shouldn't have this conversation in public. You got a sale, man? Yeah. Great. Give me an email. I'll shoot you the deets in the mail. This is where we go our separate ways. Keep it on your inbox, though. Okay. Alright. I guess I'll wait for directions on that shit. And in the meantime... My tummy's half empty. I'll wait till it's fully empty before I, uh, you know, level up some more. In the meantime, let's walk over to the theater square area and uh, get this other sub-story sub going. Uh-oh, here's the email. Who's it from? Thanks a ton for agreeing to this. You can call me Masa, by the way. As for the job, I hit a key under a bench in Public Park 3. Just snag it and scoot your butt over to the coin lockers. Oh, yeah, and the stuff in the lockers is my little secret. Okay. Guess I'll just respond with an all right. I'll go check that one out in a minute. Let's go ahead and see what's up with this sub story right over me. Hey, you there. Are you the bouncer I'm supposed to meet? Actually, don't answer that. We're keeping this hush hush, right? Hear you the bouncer, okay. Excuse me? You don't have any idea what I'm talking about, do you? Damn it, why does this keep happening? He should have been here by now. Hey, slow down. Ugh, I even slipped him some cash in advance to make sure he'd show up. This is bad. I'm toast if I don't have somebody watching my back. I'm sick of getting my ass whooped. Guess I should head back to the club and see what's up. Sounds like my guy's a no-show. If only they sent a monster like you. Hey, that gives me an idea. You want to make a quick yen, buddy? A guy like you would be a perfect bouncer. Just ask the bartender at Debola about it. That place makes a killing with under-the-table bouncer services. Been there, done that. Doing it again. Not a half bad idea if it pays well. Maybe I'll check out Debola if I have some time. So that's another side story. God damn. Okay. Uh, where's Public Park 3? Also, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Phew! <laughs> Ooh, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> Bless me. Alright. Let's go down to, uh... Man. 
So many goddamn things to do, it's ridiculous. Alright, I'm gonna go... What do I want to do? The soon tight? Thank you, sir. Thank you. There's another sub story down over here. They're fucking everywhere, bro. Alright, Tugs. Ow! Baseball bat? I did it with a wiffle ball bat. Damn, fucking darted that baseball bat in his face. Love it. Sit down, bitch. Another 20k in my pocket. Nah. What am I gonna do? It's been months and still nothing. I heard Yamauchi and Takanaka already have cut multiple offers. Mm. We're the only ones left. I'm up to 80 rejections now. My self esteem is shot. Nothing's come through for me either. I never thought it would take this long. What are they talking about? <sighs> Maybe we're just unemployable. Must be somewhere that'll take us. Sounds like their job hunt isn't going so well. Hey, I saw something interesting at the train station the other day. Would you guys be up for a group interview? Oh. Uh, what? You mean all of us interviewing together? Yeah, we all go at the same time and we take turns typing each other up. Sounds like way less stressful than a regular interview. Guess there's more than one way to get a job. Oh, that sounds awesome. I'd be way more relaxed with you guys in the same room. Where do we apply? Mm. I'm in, too. But you think we can really be ready to ready on such short notice? In that case, how about we do a practice run? I know a place that does mock interviews. Four people do a group, though. We'll need to find someone to come with us. Let's give Masui a call. I bet he's still unemployed. Good idea. I'll get in touch with him in a sec. The mock interviews are held in a spot in Park Boulevard. Let's get our confidence up and show the interviewer who's boss. Oh. Yeah. See you over there. Something tells me we're going to see them over there and they don't have a fourth. Oh, one of them dropped something. They were heading to Park Boulevard. If I head that way, I'll maybe I'll deliver it. Job Seeker Amulet? Interesting. What is this blinking sound? I'm confused what this sound effect is. Does it mean I'm nearby a shiny? Oh. Wait, since when do I have a thing that blinks, makes noise when I'm near a shiny? I didn't have that before. I don't know when I started having that, but okay. Certainly not complaining. Is it time we go talk to Kashiwagi? I think it is. Although I might pop by this park over here and grab that key I'm supposed to grab. I'm pretty sure it's this park over here. Or wait, oh, the park's on the other side. Well, shit. Guess we're gonna beat up some Yakuza first. What else is near? Damn it. Fuck that guy up. The hell out of my way, son. Going ring around the rosy dog. Aw. I said ring around the rosy dog. Damn, threw that bike in his face. Get fucked, boys. Alright, hold up. Oh, 
Oh, this is the park. I'm just looking at the map wrong. All right, there's the park I was looking for. The key I was looking for. Good stuff. All right, time to head over to the goddamn taxi. I'm ready to just go talk to Kashiwagi. I'm ready. All right. Uh. Wait. What? Tojo Clan headquarters. Sorry, I'm like what? 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 ゴーデリュジュは何が何でも関東と関西の全面戦争に持ち込む腹積まりです。二人を連れ去った海外組織の正体は分かったのか。いいえ。それで大吾を連れ去ったその男は深夜の一時天延びるに一人で来いと言
Okay. I guess we're gonna go check out this warehouse situation. Is it just this door right here? I have no idea where the fuck I'm going at this point. There's no marker. There's no actual map. Talk to this guy. What's up, dude? Say the first chairman let his dogs roam free here. Whole pack of Dobermans just cruising around the yard. Third chairman Sarah had trust issues with dogs, I heard. You don't say. Mm. Used to be a wall scroll here. Must have been cleaned up. Nothing for me here. Okay. So, I guess this isn't what I'm looking for. Mm. Scare me like that, sir. They said the chorus first chairman executive uh. plant chaters is probably Kyle Sign the rest of the spirits. Boy. Try to act like a Yakuza bitch. Don't act like a little bitch titties. Okay, so I'm guessing there's nothing over here. So, next floor, I guess? I'm just trying to talk to people to see if they have any, like, inside of what I'm fucking looking for, exactly. Uh, I'd still protect him if I could, but too late, he did. Alright, there's a door over here as well. Let's check it out. Okay, that door doesn't fucking open. Fine. Secret door, where art thou? Mm. A landscape painting? I don't recognize it. It's practically photographic. Nothing seems different. Okay. Bookshelf? Mm. All these books about fine art. I'll give it to Tirada. He did have taste. Mm. Huh. Okay. Ah. Donation from Chairman Tirada. It's made of pure gold. You don't say. Mm. Must have been expensive. Nothing seems mm. out of ordinary. Wait a second. I see a keyhole. Mm. Hell yeah. We in there, baby. Nanny. Well then. Secret room found. Ooh. S katana. Bunch of equipment stuff. Purple bone. Mm -hmm. This dagger. I'd know this pattern anywhere. Demon fire dagger. Probably isn't what Leto Dojima wanted me to find, but I think I have an idea what to do now. I should go find her. Okay. I have an idea she may not like, huh? Sometimes you gotta do what people don't like. Oh, that's right. I can use these tomes to get experience points. I forgot about that. Um... That's as good as we're going to get right now, I guess. Let's go back and talk to her, then. Hola. <sighs> Shindo's attitude is anything to go on. We should prepare for the possibility that the Nishikiyama family could break from the clan. <sighs> True, but losing them would mean losing half the clan's manpower. The Nishiyama family got that big? Uh. After last year, Shindo took command and absorbed what remained of the Shimano family, too. They were the clan's two biggest groups, and combining made them massive. <sighs> Go Ryu clan. 
or Go Ryu could invade Kamurocho any day, and now this? We can hardly hold ourselves together, much less fight a war. What if he were to come back? Mm -hmm. Who? The only one guy I know with the power to stand up to the Go Ryu clan is an equal. Oh, don't tell me. Hey. No, I'm dead serious. Boy. Are you crazy? A mad dog doesn't take well to, call to callers. I've seen what happens firsthand. Hey. I know the risks, but I also know what's at stake. Mm. You're sure? I'd suggest trying purgatory then. Mm. He hangs out there? Uh. In a manner of speaking, yes. But things have changed since last year. Better that you see yourself. The entrance is still through the public bathroom near the West Park. I never understood it, but it makes about as much sense as purgatory does. Be careful. Hey. I'll do my best. So, the mad dog, huh? I know who we're talking about there. I'm actually pretty hyped if he's going to be in this game. I figured he had to be in this game, though. How could he not be? Am I right? I don't... I got a dispatch from the company saying there's a gas leak on the premises. I'll need to get through here. Ah? Well, nothing's come down to me, so I suggest you turn around, sir. But if I ignore it, I'll lose my job. What? You dumb bastard. Listen, we're... Fine. You leave me no choice. What the fuck are you doing? <gasps> hey, are you okay? Damn. I knew he seemed fishy. Stop him. Some kind of hitman? He's not making it past me. Definitely not making it past me, mysterious assassin. Assassin, you know. We got a gun. Bitch, you better stop with that gun right now. Not okay. Fucker. Stop kneecapping me with the fucking gun. It's not okay. <laughs> Motherfucker. That was a slippery little fuck. He must have been sent by the Omi Alliance. Who the fuck was he? Not that it matters. I'm about to beat it out of him. Thanks for your help, Fourth Chairman. Uh. It's fine. Tojo Clan is going to be assaulted from every angle now, so you gotta stay sharp. Keep security tight, too. Hi. Hi. Okay, then. It's a good thing we happened to go to the door when that guy showed up, huh? Back to Kamurocho, back to Kamurocho, back to Kamurocho. I got a phone call. Who is it? Mm -hmm. Sayama? What's up? What's up? Oh, I'll tell you what's up. You don't really get the position you're in, do you? Disappear like that again and I'll... <clears throat> you were unconscious. Was I supposed to watch you sleep? Whatever. Let's just say you got a, you used your get-out-of-jail-free card. Anyway, where are you? Out in Kamurocho. Oh, perfect. Can you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. I guess. Can you pick up a few things for me? You want me to shop for you? Listen, let's not make this any more awkward than it has to be. I need some under... She needs underwear too? Boy. Wait, what? Is this a joke? Look, I didn't know I'd be staying in Kamurocho like this. You were the one that came along. And while you're out, I could really use Daddy. a beer. Seriously? Underwear and beer. It's two things. Can you manage that? Yeah. Listen, I'm not your personal... Oh, sorry. What? You're breaking up. Thanks. See you soon. <laughs> Underwear and beer. I love it. <laughs> Sounds like a party. <laughs> More Kiwami Bob spam. Periodically receive you guys and fun packs to enhance your experience. Pick them up from Serena or Owie. Okay. If you obtain a new outfit, you can use this waiting room. Oh, new outfits. Oh, you can only change your outfit in premium adventure. Boo. Can't do it in the main story, I guess. All right. Beer and some underwear, huh? Okay, I guess we're going shopping at Don Quixote's. Mm. 
Don Quixote on the way. Do I need to heal? I mean, not really, but I do need to fill my tummy. Fill my tum tum. Ooh, I can almost eat everything on the menu in one go. Almost. Almost. Almost ate the whole menu. Very close. It's like they do that shit on purpose so you can't finish it. Also, there's a sub story right here. We might as well start it. Hello. Mm. Troubled consumer curious yeah. on. Yeah, that's me. Uh oh. It's a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance. I'm Swanaga, the headmistress of Sunflower Orphanage. Wait, Sunflower? Kazumasan built that orphanage. Nishiki, me, Yumi, and later Haruka. We all grew up there. Is this about Haruka? Is having her there causing you any trouble? Trouble? Oh no, quite the opposite. If anything, the orphanage is never so bright when she's around. That's a relief. But if you don't mind my asking, what's happened to the old caretaker? Oh, he was having a spot of hell trouble, so he made the difficult decision to move his back, move back to his family in the country. Taken over in his absence. Let's see. So what brings you to our city? This isn't the safest part of town. Oh, well, I'm ashamed to admit to all of you, you of all people, but money has been getting tight lately. After Kazama-san passed, things have been getting difficult, to say the least. I'm sorry to hear that. Kashiwagi-san stepped in as our benefactor, but despite his best efforts, he's just too busy to spare us much attention. I know this is a lot to ask of you, sir, but if you have any love for the orphanage still, do you think you could assist us with an occasional donation? Huh. I owe everything to Sunflower and Kazama-san. I can't promise I'll be much help, but I'll certainly contribute what I can. You will? Oh, thank you so much. I make regular trips to Kamurocha to pick things up, so you can talk to me any time you'd like to make a donation. Or if it's more convenient, you can use an ATM in a convenience store around town to wire to us. Uh. Sounds easy enough. Just out of curiosity, how much are you thinking you'll need? Well, no amount would be too large, but I think somewhere in the ballpark of 50,000 yen would keep us afloat as far as basic living expenses go. Got it. Thank you again, Kiryu-san. Well, I think I can spare 50k to start, for sure. Hi! Hi! Here's your 50k, girl. You're too kind, Kiryu-san. I can't state enough how much help you are to these children. Thank you. Hmm? You see, the orphanage recently took it on this boy about Haruka's age. His name is Hayato-kun. Troubled child, not made a single friend, quite worried. They're doing their best, but he makes a point to keep his distance. They can only do so much. You were an orphan once, Kiryu-san. Do you have any suggestions? <coughs> um, find something he's interested in. God, my throat is dry as fuck right now. Maybe you could figure out something he's interested in. That will make him open up a bit. I wonder what that would be. Did you get any details when you took him in? Where he's from, what his hobbies are, anything? Mm. Apparently he did used to take care of a class pet as his old school. It's possibly as a soft spot for animals. There's your answer. We don't have any pets, then get one. Well, that won't do. Okay. So now I have to find her a freaking pet? Okay. Whatever, I'll do that as we go. Whoa. Uncle Kaz, headmistress told me about your idea for helping Hatakun. You remember the puppy we saved? We could find him and bring him to Sunflower. Oh, God. Well, I guess we have to go to the Purgatory. Or we could just call them on the phone. <clears throat> hey, Magusa. This is Kiryu. Ah, Kiryu-san. Not the man I expected to get a call from. What's going on, bro? Actually, Haruka and I let a dog loose in the city last year before we left. You didn't happen to keep track of it, did you? Keep track of it? I kept the, I kept the little guy. You did? Well, would you be willing to part with him for some kids? They need a pet at the orphanage. Oh, ain't that the orphanage Haruka grew up at? That's the one. Would you be willing? Or did you get too attached? Well, for you, Kiryu-san, for the kids, and for this little guy's happiness, I'll do it. 
Meet me at the theater. Thanks, Magusa. See you there. All right, so that's another quest we can work on. But I'm here to shop, God damn it! I'm here to buy some undies. Undies and a beer. Okay, so uh, here's your women's underwear. I also need some underwear for that other guy. And we can pick her up a beer. That's a beer. Got it. Arigato. I guess there's no shinies in Don Quixote, unfortunately. All right, well, that's good. <clears throat> what is this quest? Oh, that's the Mahjong one. No thanks. That's the soup place. I don't know which one that is. I don't know which one any of these are. I'm just going to go deliver the dang underwear and beer. Special underwear delivery. Fuck it, just fight him. Beat him down. Easy peasy. Oh, was that a cinder block there? Aw, oh, I could have crushed a cinder block on someone. Disappointed. I guess you have to go in the back door of Serena. I guess since it's not open for business, it makes sense to not be able to go in the front door. で体中がベタベタしてたから、サウナにでも行こうと思ったんだけど、隣の店にシャワーがあったから勝手に使わせてもらったわ。そうか。多分昔風俗店だったんでしょ。狭い風呂屋にあんなにシャワールームを設置して
小さい頃から病気で死んだと聞かされていたけどママが何か隠していることはうすうす感じてたそんな時ママが電話で怒鳴っているのを聞いちゃってねなんて言ってたんだカオルは登場会のせいで不幸になったってね登場会のせいであの時ママは私の過去を知っている人と話をしてたんだと思うそれから十数年何度となくママにそのことを聞いても何も教えてくれないそんなこと聞いても幸せになれないっていうばかりお前の勘違いってことはないのかママの反応を見ればわかるわ絶対に何かを隠してるでもママを問い詰め続けるのは私もつらいだから警察官になって自分自身で調べる道を選んだのお前は両親を登場会に殺されたと思っているのかこれだけ自分の生い立ちを隠されたらそう推測するのが普通でしょそれを確かめるために身辺保護の名目で俺に近づいたってわけか相手に手の内がバレちゃ刑事失格よねお前の気持ちわからないでもないえ俺にも隠された過去があったんだ隠された過去ああだが俺はそれを知ってしまったことで苦しかった知らない方が良かったとさえ思ったもしかしたら人間には知らなくてもいい過去があるんじゃないのかそれは自分の過去を知っている人間のセリフよそうかもしれないな Okay then Kill you and his secrets Anyway I got somewhere I need to go、mm -hmm. Oh yeah? Where? place is called purgatory purgatory sounds cheery where is it well the entrance is disguised as a bathroom near a park、mm. really and just what are we gonna find in this purgatory it's a little corner of the underworld you never really know i'm not sure i follow but i'm coming all the same let's move oh boy you mean we gotta take her with us to meet you know who I guess so. But first,、right. Kiryu san, yes? Uh, yes? Oh? Who's asking? Please, you needn't take that tone with me. I'm a pupil of the Komaki school, just as you are. Komaki? So the old man's still finding new students? Correct. Master Komaki sent me to find you. Feel the heat! So that's the guy that was in Purgatory last time that we like, did a bunch of training. Kiwami won, that is. I think that was his name, Komaki. Anyway, Master Komaki wasn't wrong about you. You're truly a man who speaks with his fists. Would you like to trade email addresses? I have valuable info I can give you. Cool. What kind of info? Well, sometimes I get word of tough guys who come out of the woodwork to challenge the famed dragon of Dojima. I can tell you who these enemies are and where to find them. Surely, Master Komaki star people wouldn't turn down the opportunity to face a worthy adversary.、Mm, you're not wrong. Great, then I'll email you. Farewell. After you win a certain number of street battles, a powerful street boss may appear somewhere in the city. Be sure to prepare before taking them on. Interesting. Okay. Job here is complete. Farewell. Street bosses, huh? Letter from the old man, huh? Okay. I wonder if I should use more of my stats now. Or, you know, boost more of my stats now, rather. Damage is increased to any additional enemies hit by your attacks. This is a good one. I like that. Parry an enemy's attack. I feel like I've probably done that on accident, but you know what? Learn it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Learn it.
Oh. Essence of Tiger Crash. Brutally thrown enemy to the ground and while stepping on them, slam. Okay, so this is another heat move that looks pretty epic. Let's go ahead and learn it. Always down to learn more heat moves. Heat actions. I think that's all I'm gonna be able to afford besides stat boosts. So let's go ahead and do more attack. And more heat gauge. And that's all we can afford for now. Uh yeah. A device that makes a sound when a locker key is nearby. I did pick this up recently. I remember picking this up, but I didn't pay attention to the fact that it was just an item that was going to be used. That's nice. Well then. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, so our next step is to actually go all the way up there. Well, let's go ahead and kind of zigzag our way over there. Let's see what this sub-story is. one in this alley over here. Huh? You think you can go muscling in on our turf, chubs? I told you once already. We don't want your pervy shit around here. Yeah. No, everything I got is clean, I swear. Bullshit. In this town, everything's got a goddamn fetish. Why don't you show us the goods? Or are you scared you'll get turned on by your own stash? Mm. That's not it at all, though I guess my wares are a little eccentric. Yeah, I called it. Come on, dump your bag. Please, no. <laughs> Somebody help me. A pervy peddler, huh? Save his ass. Guess I should lend a hand. And who the hell are you? You gonna really gonna butt into this? Boy. Leave him alone. He's not gonna hurt anyone selling his stuff in the back alley. Huh? You want a fat toast friends guy? Sorry, but he's not getting off the hook that easy. And neither are you. You have to excuse my companion. His methods are rather uncouth. Oh, different guy talking. That said, we cannot permit this man to sell his illicit wares in our territory. Perhaps you'd like to cover the vendor's fee in his stead. It's 300,000 yen, sir. What if I say no? Yeah. Sorry, I don't have that kind of money. Huh? The hell? No money, no selling. Indeed, those are the rules. All right. Teach these two a lesson, will you? Say your prayers, pervs. I could have gave him the money, but fuck that. I'd rather beat some ass. All right, Honda, it's just me and you, buddy. Damn, broke your face. You're a little more than a rank and file guy, aren't you? I'm not Yakuza anymore. Ah, but you were then. There's some comfort in knowing we didn't just get defeated by a civilian. So, you done messing with this guy? Indeed, might makes right, and you have proven our yours. Let us go. Thank you, thank you so much. You need to be more careful, okay? If you don't go through the proper channels, this will happen every time. I'm really sorry. I never had to pay any vendor fees when Majima-san controlled the area. Majima-san. Mm. Before I knew it, turf changed hands and this new family started squeezing every last yen out of me. Really? Majima-san might be unconventional, but even he would charge vendor fees on his territory. Oh, he did charge me, in a way. He made me hunt down rare videos for him. Freaky martial arts type stuff. Mm -hmm. Do I want to know? I don't know. I mean, there is sort of gleam in your eye. Oh. Weapons. Ooh, he got movies. Oh, he got movies. I'll buy all your movies, sir. Anyway, I'm Kamiyama. Looking forward to doing business with you. 
from the newest releases to the deepest cuts. I got anything you could ever need. <laughs> Stop by if you're ever in the mood. I'll be waiting. Okay, so he's gonna he's where we're gonna get new movies. We'll come back to him later and buy some more movies. But alright, noted.